Hey everyone, I'm John Lynn, the Founder and Chief Editor at Healthcare IT Today, and we're excited to bring you another in our series of interviews with top leaders in health IT. We're here at the Health Data Palooza Conference, and our guest is Amit Garg. He's the CEO and co-founder of High Labs. Welcome, Amit. Thanks for having me, John. Yeah, so, uh, you know, tell us a little bit about yourself and High Labs. Yeah, so uh, I'm a technologist at heart. Um, I, we uh, are fully committed in High Labs to solve the real problem in healthcare, which is uh, cleaning up dirty data. And uh, we have had, uh, uh, fortunately, quite some good success working with large health plans and government in cleaning up the data. Uh, and that ended up in improving uh, uh, patient experience. Awesome, well, I wanna hear all about this, but how did you get to doing dirty data, right? Like, especially in healthcare, tell us about, you know, how did High Labs come to be? Yeah, so um, I went to business school uh, and there I wanted to be an entrepreneur, right? I was looking for opportunities and uh, Neil and I, my co-founder and I, we started working towards the population health management and all those, you know, those sexy use cases. Uh -huh. Let's predict uh, readmission and things like that. <laughs> But then we realized uh, the all in all these models, the data going into these models is like totally garbage, right? So um, then we pivoted towards um, the upstream problem, which is about like how do we make this data clean? Mm. And, uh, and then I'll, I also work with CMS, uh, and I designed their uh, medical advantage data processing system, and that's where I observed the common theme that um, health plans are sending data, and and that has a lot of um, data gaps in it. Right. Mm. So from those two data points, uh, we pivoted towards uh, cleaning data, and, and and that's where that's here we are. Interesting. It's kind of sad that you wanted to do AI, but the data was so bad you couldn't, so you had to go upstream. Exactly. <laughs> I, mean, exactly. I mean, that's good that we're going upstream and solving these problems, yeah. but talk to me about that, right? We, we know there's a lot of bad data in Correct. healthcare. There's there's gaps in, in the data. What are you doing to really solve that dirty data problem? Sure. So, um, so there is information technology, right? And I would say, I'm a technologist, but I would say uh, technology is dumb. <laughs> right? Because uh -huh. uh, you, uh, in uh, plain vanilla information technology, you kind of uh, tell the technology what to do, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like you formulate methods or you sort of write rules to solve the problem. Mm -hmm. And in data quality, many times you don't know what you're looking for, right? So mm. you, so, but humans, uh, they are able to make sense of data, uh, which is there in fragmented systems across different entities. Now, we are bringing in that human um, factor by in including artificial intelligence along with plain vanilla information technology. Now, that makes the system smarter, where now the AI is analyzing those rules automatically. But even that was not enough. <laughs> because So the human and the, <laughs> and the information was technology was not enough, right? Because, uh, and that's why I think there's a lot, lot less adoption in healthcare because many of these plain vanilla AI solutions, they are generating a lot of false alarms, mm. right? So then what we did, we partnered with the health plans and the health organizations where we brought in the third piece, which is very important, and that is the business domain expertise. And mm. we brought in those business domain expertise that we call as business ontologies. We brought that into the mix, and that's how we started solving, started seeing some really good results, where our accuracy rate is more than 95%. Wow. And our false alarms is like less than 5%. So I think the mix of all those three um, aspects in technology, along with the right sort of team, helped us to, to, to solve this problem to some extent. Interesting, so where have you applied you know, this solution to improve the data? What are some of the main use cases that High Labs working on? Yeah, it's, um, you know, when we started, uh, Neil and I, when we started going to the market, we'll, and then we said, hey, we are going to clean up your data, and then that will have the downstream impact. Now, the problem is, uh, at the, on the customer side, the question was, who's going to pay for it? Right? <laughs> because the, the, the downstream guy is saying that, hey, that's an upstream guy problem. He should pay for it. Uh -huh. And the upstream guy is saying that, well, the benefit will be for the downstream guy. Uh -huh. right? so, then we, so then we thought, okay, let's focus on some of the use cases that directly get impacted because of data quality. And uh, uh, some examples such as provider directory accuracy, mm -hmm. right? where you think the directory is showing that the doctor... Uh, John Doe is at this location, but the doctor is not there. 
or you went to a doctor and you thought this, this doctor is your in network but it was out of network uh -huh. so when we started solving those problems in in uh, uh, in terms of data quality we started getting traction because now we know who's going to pay for it mm -hmm. okay um, so that's one area and then we took the same approach of this whole ai information technology and business ontologies to clean clinical data, claims data, value-based care data. Um, so those are some of the use cases that we are looking at. Interesting, and do the payers want to clean up the directory? Like that's an interesting one for me. Like we know patients benefit and they're suffering because their experience is bad when they go to a doctor that they think is a network and is not, or that when they search for a doctor and they can't find the right info or they have to call 10 different doctors because the one's too far away, they're no longer a network, they're no, whatever, right? Like, yeah. So we know patients benefit, but do payers want that as well? So, um, you know, healthcare, um, is becoming very competitive, mm -hmm. right? And peers are primarily now competing on member experience, which is a good thing, right? right? Now, so member experience is is is, is number one, uh, I would say, when peers are competing with each other. Um, and then there are a lot of um, overheads that they have to bear um, in the phone calls from the members, and then in the medical advantage side, uh, patients switch, uh, you know. The health plans would like to retain patients from commercial um, to the medical advantage side when they become 60, 60, 60 more than 65 years of yeah. age. Um, so it's so it's the plays all around member experience. So uh, plans do have incentives to make sure that there's a better patient experience and provide directly, for example, is definitely one of the top use cases. Awesome. Well, where can people go to learn more about High Labs? Well, you can go to our website, which is www.highlabs.com. All right, so that's hilabs.com to that's check right. it out. Cool, well, thanks so much, Amit. I appreciate you sharing these insights and perspectives. Uh, data is the future of healthcare. We've said that over and over on our uh, on these podcasts. And so, uh, you know, helping to clean it up and making it less dirty is a great thing. So thanks so much. And thanks, everyone, for watching and listening. If you want to find more great healthcare IT content like this, be sure to check it out at healthcareittoday.com or search for Healthcare IT Today on your favorite podcast application. Thanks, Amit. Thanks, John.